messy craft corner. Oh my gosh, you guys. We did some amazing cover and book work today over on my page uh, using a, this was a box uh, mix for a cornbread, a cornbread box mix and some fabric that came from Timu. Well, we did one signature. The second signature is sitting here waiting for me to get, um, for, for, uh, it's, it's just, trust me. You can see it. Listen, you can see. I forgot on YouTube. You can see a whole heap of mess. Woo, let's go down some, you guys. You don't need to see. Y'all don't need to see all that. Ignore. Ignore, please. Hello, Dawn. How are you? Okay, I promise next time my desk will be cleaned off. I have a desk clean off scheduled for this week. Okay, so that being said, uh, I, I had to go to the... Um, Joanne Fabrics. Hi, Aunt Diane. And whenever you go to Joanne Fabrics, always look in their last chance clearance. Okay. Last chance clearance. It is literally like your best friend because you find some really cool fabric prints in there. Maybe a yard, maybe two yards, maybe half a yard. You might find things that are just, yeah, there's a lot of pretties. Just only look here. <laughs> I got some new sari. I brought that, but I don't think it's going to match because it's more, it's supposed to be rust, but it reminds me of a copper. Um, so I brought the regular sari in as well. These are my good fabric scissors, but look at the pretties I have laying here. Now, if, um, if we're friends, friends, or you're Dana Graham, <laughs> uh, and I don't mean like you guys aren't my friends, but if you're some of my like inner circle junk journaling friends i send you a picture of the um fabrics that i bought so here's the fabric that i bought look at how beautiful this is hello margaret hello mary harris hello look at this this is gorgeous can you guys see that is this showing up y'all who have me on the big screen and i know some of you are out there you guys see this gold look at the gold trim that's in this isn't this beautiful and I have way too much of it in here. I should have. I got excited to jump on live with you guys. And the lady who cut it for me. She has it folded all oh, wonka doodle. So uh, this was in the clearance section. It looks like wallpaper. Um, it's It looks like upholstery fabric. But it's thin like regular sewing fabric. Who would make a dress out of this? I have no idea. <laughs> I guess there's some people out there. But it's so pretty. And then I have this box. I don't know if you guys remember when I did the chocolate box um, for, was that not Cynthia's? It was for Twisted Paper Studio. I did a box with the lady in the skirt on the front. Okay, well, look at this. I have this, and I want to put this across there, and then look at this pretty. Okay, a couple of things I have pretty. I have this pretty doily that I may or may not use some part of it for this book because it's blue. Yeah, I love blue. Blue's my favorite. Blue's my favorite. Um, I have this to match for the inside. So we're going with a dark blue to contrast all of the regular blues. There's a real little bit of dark blue in here. Not too much, but you guys should be able to see that. I do that. I'll make you just go flying to the floor. I'm on the big screen. You see the gold? Um, so I'm going to use this for the interior piece. Um, this came from Walmart. Joann's okay also at Joann's today look at this that I got this trim isn't this pretty and I thought this just matches this it's white it should be a more cream color but it's going to pull the whites from the other fabrics as well so this is going to make a great pocket you guys great pocket and it's a cotton so it will take dye very very nicely so keep that in mind too when you're purchasing sometimes when you buy laces like this lace here this is lace from the wedding dress. This is wedding dress lace. This does not hold color nice at all because it's mostly nylon. So when you're shopping for stuff that you know you want to put through a dye bath or whatever, um, go for cottons. And I just, I, I want to dye this. I want to see what this looks like dyed, but I was too excited to come live with you guys. All right, so let's get, let's get started. What do you think? It is better than the photo, isn't it? I thought so. I thought that photo did not do any of it justice. Okay, so let's pull this over here. And I got two yards of it, you guys. Something stuck to it. Um, just because it was pretty. Oh, I know what I was going to show you. 
And then I have this from the vintage jewelry stuff that I bought at the flea market. Doesn't this just match that perfectly? So we may or may not take some of that white lace that I just had out here and kind of do that whole like floral thing around the cameo. Isn't this just gorgeous? The cameo is beautiful. Who agrees with me? It was a good find. Okay, so what it was, was it was originally $14.99 a yard. That's expensive for me. I would never pay $14.99 a yard for fabric. Okay, but then it was 80% off. So 80% off is roughly $3 a yard, more typical of what I like to spend per yard. Um, and we only went for felt, you guys. I also brought these in here. These are Tim Holtz. 30% uh, off at Joann's this week um, is Tim Holtz. And um, so Joann's, Joann's. And then I also got some Bow Bunny paper, but that's Christmas paper. And y'all are going to have to wait for some Christmas in July stuff to get going on here. Okay, so let's put these things. Let's put this up here. Scoot this over there. Where to put my box? And here's my box. All right, so we're going to make a cover is what we're going to do. And then um, we'll work on doing something else later. Now, these uh, this candy comes from Aldi's. Aldi's, this chocolate comes from. Now, let me just tell you something. It comes in a box. And, you know, you can open it and do all the things. It has this little, this little thumb notch. Ignore. I just ignore that. And I just cover my felt straight across. I put all my fabrics on there. Does it feel a little funny? Yes. But, oh, geez. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I need to read that, may, that message. Okay. Hang on. Hang on one second. Hey, Larry. Yeah. Check your messages from your sister. Okay, so we're going to cut this down. From there, I got one. You should check yours. I'm going to check it. Okay, so we're going to trim this off. All right, so just straight across there. Now, to me, these are garbage. These are not things that I keep. Actually, that should have been a little bit more, you guys. I didn't get all of it. Let's get all of it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, lots of pretty pretties. Okay. And then we're trimming off the this little lip here. Okay, so this is three and a half inches. We're going to do this at three and a half inches as well. And that should take that right off of there. Now listen, if you really feel the need to keep it and make something out of it, go ahead. Okay? <laughs> You have a passion for cotton lace. I, I think it gets really pretty is what I think. Okay, so if I cut this at seven and a half, it's going to take off what I need straight across there. Again, not paper that I keep. And then we have that cute little, this will hold one signature in a journal. What is happening here? Um, in a journal. So that's what you want to get going on there. All right, white felt. This is my go-to. I use white felt on all of my crafting kits. And I, uh, quite honestly, I feel like, I almost feel like I should do it this way. And have my blue on the inside. What is happening here? Did I miss something? Hold on. It looks a little, see how it looks a little wonkadoodle? So we're going to check. We got three and a half. And we got three and a half. I guess it's just that real little tiny sliver makes the difference, you guys. <laughs> okay, so the reason I would the reasoning I would be doing this is because on the inside we're going to be covering it with a dark fabric versus covering this with a a white felt and then putting a fabric on it. Hold on, I have to open this some. The lady folded it so goofily. <laughs> goofily is that word. And when I put this over it, I'm still afraid that blue is just going to show through. 
enough that I, I'm not, I won't be satisfied with it. And what I'm going for on the cover is I'm going for this, but not this direction, <laughs> this direction. So we're going to have a time cutting that out on this table, let me tell you. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I think we're going to cover this for the outside and put the dark blue on the inside. Are you all with me? Did I lose anybody or are we good? Okay, let's grab my spoon. Here's my, tr my handy dandy spoon. My dandy dandy spoon, you guys. And let's get covering. So tell me what you guys did today. What did everyone do today? Oh my goodness, my hand does not want to squeeze this tonight. I'm a little on the tired side. That I can tell you. <laughs> um, you know, I didn't need to squirt it on the spoon. I needed to squirt it on the surface and then spread it. Jimmy Lou, come on. Get your act together. You're on the big screen. You're on the big screen now. I don't, it's not cold in here, so my glue should not be this hard to squeeze out of here. It's like it needs a breath or something. Who knows what it needs, what it needs. And yes, I work on my cutting board. I know, I shouldn't, but I do. It gets a nice, good, hot soak bath, though, once a week, which is good. Okay, pull this back. Live chat, that's what I want. Good evening, Carrie. I'm on a diet, but you have a sweet tooth. I know, right? Right, I love, I love me some good sweets. Although I had donuts tonight. <laughs> Um, powdered sugar donuts, actually. And I really enjoyed it. Okay, so if you don't know what I'm doing, because this is your first time at my channel or anywhere that you've um, seen me live, um, I don't always know what I'm doing either. <laughs> um, we're making a cover for a drunk journal, and I spread my glue out, my Fabri-Tac out. I spread it. Uh, and the reason I do that is so then I don't get those weird drawing lines, you know, the, the, like these lines, the glue lines. Okay. So if you do just the glue lines, what's going to happen is it's going to make a funny shape on your felt. And so that's why I use the spoon. I used to use my finger and my husband said, why don't you use a spoon or something? Then you won't be picking glue off your finger for the rest of your life. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> So that's what I changed over to doing is that. So, okay, let me grab my fabric scissors here. And we're just going to take this and we're just going to trim around the outside of the box now to cut that felt off. So that little weird thumb notch that's there, we're just ignoring that. Quite honestly, we could hang a charm or a dangle or something on it that would just look swell. Um, after the cover is all finished, if we wanted to. Um, but I did it on the other one and it held up just fine. So the fabric is thick enough to cover it and it works out. So, oops, what are we doing? What are we talking about? Yes, it is Wonka Doodle Wednesday. <laughs> it is Wonka Doodle Wednesday. I did a lot of, um, Wonka Doodle things over on my page earlier when we did the, the, I feel like I'm going to need to go look for a printable kit that's going to go very nicely with this fabric. What do you got, Cynthia? What's going to go good with my new fabric? All right, let's set this to the side and move this spoon out of the way. And then we're going to grab what we need from this. So if you look at it, it does look like... Um, like wallpaper. But what I want it to do is I want it to be this direction across the front of the book. Okay, so that's my that's my plan here. So let's get a piece of this. 
And we're going to trim off this branding strip stuff too. But I need for it to have enough around it. So I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't. I hate to do it to the center of a piece of fabric. But I almost feel like I need to go to the center here. Woo! To the you know, I do think, I do think this may go with this for a tie closure with that. And I wasn't thinking on the inside. I could have done this as well. Okay, so we got enough of here. And then we just have to do here and here. So let's do it. I, I really don't um, promote cutting up the... Uh, <laughs> the fabric to the point where like you're right you're taking something right out of the center but to be honest with you i feel like i needed to in order to get enough to go woo, to go around the edges come on now work with me stop moving i definitely have more than i need okay here we go we're gonna go right down here all right and i should have cut it using my rotary cutter um but i didn't feel like getting it out it's a whole it's a whole ordeal to get out and all that stuff but there we go okay we should be good we have plenty of fabric to grab it now whoops <laughs> definitely was cutting it on the wrong way um so tell me what you think do you think this is going to go with those browns that are kind of under there. I'm anxious to hear what you guys think. All right, so we're going to add this to the cover. And I think we'll let that wrap around to the inside because we're going to add that blue on the inside. Okay, so flip this over. Look at, this is definitely Wonka Doodle here. I'm just saying. <laughs> Get that out of there. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. Ooh, hello. And the reason I'm asking is because I want to add the tie. It is kind of printed on the fabric. You had a great video call with a friend. Hi, Linda Murphy Harper. I see you in there in the comments. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you guys showing up and hanging out just for a bit to get a cover. I, I did not need to start another cover, you guys. So um, tomorrow over on Facebook, something exciting is happening over there. And that is my cookbook journal class starts tomorrow. That class was a $10 class. Um, and if for some reason you have no idea what I'm, listen, look at what I did there. I did not go up and down the side. I went across the top. We are definitely doing things not, <laughs> Not the way we should be today. That's okay. All right, there we go. We're just going to flip it over and we're just going to work from top to bottom now instead of... I think it's because the, the way the fabric is going, I'm thinking it needs to go the direction it's supposed to. And here I am making all kinds of goober mistakes. <laughs> all right, so let's add this. And we're just going to keep spreading the glue. Now, you could take it to your sewing machine. Um, I like to leave the Fabri-Tac set up for 24 hours before putting it through the sewing machine test. Um, it gives it just a chance for that glue to dry so you don't gum up your machine. Um, and some fabric, I mean, some glues will definitely give it to you. So, um, Carrie Hall, yes. Yes, there is a, did you buy a ticket into the group? I, I have a couple I need to go and send them links um, tonight, which I'm going to do as soon as I get off of here and I take a shower. I'm going to be going over, there's a couple in the, in the Shopify from yesterday that I just didn't get to. So you did, okay, so you need a link. Okay, send me a private message over on Facebook and let me get you a link. 
You may be one of the ones that I just need to get to. Um, we had some some things happening in our family. And um, so I'm just trying to keep all of that straight. And everything with my son. Thank God my son is okay. <sighs> I really... Sometimes as a mom, you just have to step back and go, thank God my kid is okay. Because <laughs> that could have been a whole lot worse than it actually was. Um, if you're new to my channel, two weeks ago and a few days, my son uh, was in a dirt biking accident. I, he has a YouTube channel, but I don't think he's going to be sharing that video <laughs> over here. I don't think he's going to. I mean, he broke his leg. And he had a helmet cam on when he did it. So there is video. And this mama did see the video. Um, it wasn't so bad to see. It's not like, you know, bones were protruding out or anything like that. But it definitely was not one of my better wanting to see my kids get hurt moments. <laughs> not that you ever want to see your kids get hurt. Okay, so just like that, you guys. And then we're going to flip it over here. This is going to become... Our cover then just like that isn't that going to be pretty oh yes it is indeed indeed it is okay so we're going to miter cut these corners okay so just in like this out and away like that same way down here and like so out and away be careful you don't nip your finger like you did yesterday Ooh, I, st I still have a ding in my finger from it. What is blue on me? I have something blue on me. Like that. One more down here. Do do. Do do do. Do 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 So anyways, uh, the cookbook class does start tomorrow. Uh, and we're altering a um, Betty Crocker, Better Homes and Garden, uh, three ring style um, notebook. I mean book. You could use a notebook too if you wanted to. You're just not going to have that really cool. See, uh, good call on that. You guys see that? Good call, Jimmy Lou. Good girl. Must have had a good teacher. <laughs> Must have had a good teacher. Right, Cynthia? <laughs> um, some of it is eyeballing. And, you know, if you have a dark color um, box mix to where, um, you know, your, your mix or your box that you're using is a dark color, cereal box or whatever, you definitely have to cover it with either some paper, paint it, you could paint it. With some white gesso will do a really good job with that. So um, there's definitely things that you can do uh, to keep that color from coming through. Now we're going to put a darker color on the inside. So quite honestly, we're going to be okay here. All right. We're going to be okay. Let's pull this up and ooh, up and around. Ah, stick your finger in all of it, Jimmy Lou. Okay, and just pull this around. This is how I do it. Some people cut the pieces here at the fold to cut down on some of that bulk, but I don't seem to have that problem. Like, it's never been a, a real problem for me, that fold right there. But, ooh, some people do uh, have trouble with that. So then, therefore, they cut, uh, they kind of just cut that out. They give it a notch so that way they can uh, make it work. You know, we had a long time to eat that candy bar. We ate that pretty quickly. <laughs> All right, pull this around. Nice and tight. Pull it tight so you get those corners all nice and covered up, okay? And if you um, have trouble with the corners, I highly recommend getting these. These are photo corners. Maybe we'll use, maybe we'll use the copper ones on that. Ooh. Hang on, hang on. I just saw those. That we definitely can make this work. All right. Oops. Hello. I'm getting glue everywhere, you all. One, two. 
open for. I don't think I've ever shown this on here that we can do this, but these are um, nice to get from um, Amazon. And all you need is a pair of pliers to make them work. Okay, so we're gonna add, we're gonna move this out of the way. And we're gonna add a piece of this blue to the inside and then we'll add our corners and then we'll add some um some lace right some pretty pretty lace wherever i put it there it is i'll see it okay so here's this and this just coordinates with so many things that are just so lovely so we're going to give it a nice and tight um covering okay nice and tight we're going to give it boop 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 be do boop Okay, and we're just going to give this a trim right along there. So I'm using the book and the groove in my cutting board to help me go straight across. Okay, let's take a look. Ooh, that's going to be a little too tight, you guys. Hold on, we got to trim. We're going to trim it a bit more. Oops, I almost did it. All right, so we're going to do this on here, like so. And we just need to take a little bitty off on the bottom down here, just to make it that it's nice and... <sighs> Nice and nice. What am I doing? Do I know? I don't quite know what I'm doing, you guys. Ah! <laughs> the fabric is gorgeous. Um, this dark blue fabric, this came from Walmart, okay? This fabric here on the outside, this came from Joann's. So um, I just thought it coordinated kind of nicely together. So then that's why I decided to use this. Listen, it is still giving me a time. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna quit messing around. Keeping my scissors in that crack of the cutting board. All right, that should be better. You know, and the object is, is to cut enough fabric off that you end up having to get another piece and cut it off because see what's happening. <laughs> and this direction may have been the direction that I was going with anyways, but that's okay. It's all going to be good. All right, here we go. Oops, hang on. Here we go. Okay, we got about 18%, which is plenty enough time for us to do this. So I'm just adding more glue. Grab my spoon. That's now glued. It's glued fast over there, you guys. All right, and we're just spreading the glue. Use use whatever glue you like for fabric. Some like the Beacon 3-in-1. I like the Fabri-Tac um, for a couple of reasons. Is this the right direction, Jimmy Lou? Or is this the right direction? I don't know. I think I think this is the direction. <sighs> it is now. <laughs> it is now, you guys. This is the direction now. Look at how pretty. But that's okay because we can add some trim work along the edge here, too. Look at this pretty trim work I have. We can add this right along the edge and the inside. After we add our corners, 
and that'll look really pretty also. So let's plan on doing that. How's that sound? Doo, doo, doo. This glue is really starting to get on my nerves because it's taking forever to come out. Here we go. Jimmy Lou is just humming. She's not trying to get any monetization violations. YouTube has to get used to Jimmy Lou. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Right out to the end. Now let's add those corners, okay? So here's our book cover now. Doesn't that look pretty? And to add these, you just slip them over the edge. Sometimes you have to wrinkle down your fabric and hold it in place. Hold it in there good and tight and squared up. You don't want it to be going all wonka doodle on you. And then just pinch, pinch, pinch. Um, these, Larry gave me these. And they seem to work very, very well. But then this is what it looks like. Look how pretty that looks then. Yes. Oh, I was going to put this through underneath there. Oh, well. We're, we're doing something different now. <laughs> I was going to run it underneath there so it was underneath. And it was in place and I wouldn't forget to use it. And I haven't really decided whether I'm using it yet or not. I think we're going to go with it. So once it's pressed on there, just squeeze these up. Nice and tight. These you can find on Amazon. They're just called um, book corners. Book corners, not book ends. Book ends are something different. Look at how pretty. And then I really do think I want to go with some lace that's just going to make that pop, you guys. So I think we're going to do that. I have some pretty white. I have some, I don't know what else I have. I have cream somewhere. <laughs> it's here somewhere, I promise. It's just a matter of where did it go? I have some of this that could also just really, we're just gonna kind of skadoot it. Skadoot dee doo, skadoot dee doo. Just like so. Almost like a, almost like a lady's sleeve or handkerchief and then we're just gonna add that look at how pretty that'll look oh that's what i want to do yay okay where's the rest of these let's keep, keep keep me moving guys keep me moving whoops flip this over and we're gonna squeeze that one down too All right, and here we go on this one too. All right, there we go, guys. And there's our cover. So we can still add, hold on, let's clip this so it'll stay in place. We can still add this. Um, sorry silk as a tie closure that would just be held into place whoops held into place like that and let's just lob off a piece of this so all I'm really doing is just we're just gathering this right so I'm just kind of making a very loose gather that's kind of just doing like a sleeve or a, a hanky type piece that would just go right on there like that. And this right over the top. Oh, that looks so pretty, you guys. That's exactly what I want to do. Okay, so I'm taking this and I'm using my, my stapler. You can use your um, sewing machine if you like. But we're just going to staple it. Staple will work. 
Hey, Mama Peas is here. Okay, so do you like the idea of, of, of the copper color? Or do you think... I have a couple of options. We can do the copper color. We can do the plain color wherever. I don't know what I did with it. I had it here. Um, we can use the regular color, sorry silk. Um, we can use, I have some blue chiffon. That would also probably look really pretty underneath the cameo. So talk to me, talk to me, help me out here. Help me out. What are you thinking, guys? Because I really do. There's really a lot happening and I really like it. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mary Harris. But oh, yeah, what? Oh, yeah, the blue. Oh, yeah, the copper with the copper corners. Talk to me. Oh, you guys like the blue chiffon? Okay, the blue chiffon it is. Perfect. I was really like, I bought this and it was supposed to be rust colored. So it's a little bit not, in my opinion, not really rust colored. But um, I, I do so love it. So now I'm a little sorry that I put those coppery color ones on there. But it does match here. Okay, so the blue chiffon, this came from Timu. It is one of the many purchases that I've made on there. And I really love it. The only thing I don't like about it is it does... It does kind of pull matchy matchy. Yeah, like Miss Dina says. It does string and pull away. So you got to kind of watch that, okay? So let's fold this in half. All right. And we're going right here. This is about half. And it's going to go from the front right around to the back, you guys. All right. Now we're going to get going with our Fabri-Tac. We're going to secure everything with Fabri-Tac. Okay. Now, you guys, we are going to do, um, we're going to do a closure. I mean, not a closure, a um, signature. So it's going to get sewn in. That's, that centerpiece is going to pop out through there. I don't care. That's okay, in my opinion. It's not going to take away from it that much. And I think we're good. All right. Let's get this on here. Right, here we go, straight across there. I love it because it's going to look like a little skirt, in my opinion. Or like, you know how like the ruffles, like collars and sleeves, how the ladies of the day had those sleeves and the colors and it just, wait, I have, I was like, what is happening here? And this is going to go right over the top. Okay, so the only thing we have to do with that is we have to yank off the pin part, okay? You could slip the pin right on there and leave it as a pin part, but I'm going to, I'm going to attempt, we're going to attempt to yank it off of here, you guys. Oh yeah, it's going to come off pretty easy because it's old and it's brittle and all of the fun stuff. It just came right off. And then we're just going to right on the top there. Look at how pretty that's going to, isn't that going to be pretty? Woohoo! Woo I was about to say, give me some hearts, but I can't see them anyways, so... Um, all right, so we're going to just, listen, we need to get this off of here. Oh, I do not like a tip that is goopy like that. All right, so let's get some, we're going to get some good bit on here. And we're going to get it underneath here, just like so. All right. And then we're going to put it in place. And we're just going to leave it. We're just going to let it sit there till tomorrow. It'll set up nice and be all pretty and stuff and then um I know right so I love it I think it looks really really pretty on the back side here um we'll do something to secure this um at a later time because the glue will show through the chiffon so it's either some kind of button some kind of something pretty a flower something okay but I really went we really went with like kind of that elegant look and I think it's really pretty I think it's really pretty you guys all we have to do is find some stuff for the inside now I have to go look at Cynthia's um selection of stuff that she has in her printable shop over there to match up this um and see what we have okay so and then this will just tie nice and loopity doopity 
And once the signature is in there and all you guys will trim up the chiffon, but just watch because honestly, they'll see how I have strings. I got strings coming every which direction, but the way they're supposed to go. <laughs> so just trim that up. Okay. Oh, I did say we were going to add some lace along the edge there, didn't I? Okay. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to do it tomorrow, but just so that you know, uh, what's coming on this. First of all, string everywhere. <laughs> we're going to take this and we're going to add this along here like so and along the edge out here like so. You stay in place there, Mr. Cameo. Okay, and then I have this. I, I had this white and I was going to go with the white, you guys, but now I'm feeling more of the cream. And I think that I, I'm going to probably go along with the 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 clean, the cream that we used on the outside, we're going to go ahead and put as, as pockets across there. So it'll have a little bit taller of a pocket. Um, you could put them this way. That's going to make a huge pocket there, but I think we're just going to go straight across there and then I'll frame out the whole inside of this using this pretty lace right there. Um, I don't want to keep messing with it because I'm afraid that cameo is just going to come off and then I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> So just keep that in mind that, you know, you have to let things kind of be for a bit. Plus my phone battery is about to, to, to take a nosedive. So, but that's what it's going to look like. There's where our back's going to be. We might gather this up even just a little bit, maybe put a hole here and pull it through the hole. I'm not really sure. I really made up my mind, but it looks so pretty. You guys, I'm loving it. Jimmy Lou is happy. I hope you guys are too. All right. So, um, usually I come on here on Tuesday nights, but last night I had to fill in for, um, crafters in the kitchen. Um, so I wasn't able to do it last night. That's why I'm here tonight. If all goes well, my granddaughter doesn't tomorrow is listen too bad. I can't see the hearts. I know. Listen, tomorrow I have a Lara. Lara is my granddaughter. She's only uh, five and a half weeks old. This is the first time that her mother is entrusting her into my care. Um, so as long as all goes well and I'm not like totally exhausted after the baby leaves tomorrow, perhaps I'll come on tomorrow night and we'll work on either the inside guts to this or we did start these um, little golden book journals last week and we may end up doing something in those. So somewhere, I'm, now I'm anxious to get this done because it's so pretty. All right, you guys, I hope you all have a good rest of your day. I'm going to leave this alone, get up early tomorrow before Alara comes and get her done. So thank you guys so much for hopping on and joining me. I appreciate you all. I think you're all amazing, amazing creators. I'd love to see what you do. Uh, I have a free group over on Facebook called Junk Journaling Jamboree. Once a month, we have an event in there where that's all, we all get the same kit and we all junk journal for the day. Uh, it's amazing fun. We have a blast over there. Um, so feel free, though, during the rest of the month to share YouTube videos, share live videos, as long as it has to do with paper craft, craft, <laughs> paper crafting. <laughs> as long as it has to do with paper crafting, whoo, enunciations are hard. Um, you can share it into that group, you guys. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you had fun today. And um, I'm going to see you tomorrow at some point. Have a great day, guys. And remember to always be kind because you never know what someone's going through. And I'll see you all real soon. Bye, guys. Do, 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 do.